Hello and welcome. Today we have a very special video for you today because we are here in Guangzhou for the global debut of the all new Xpeng P5. This is Xpeng's third production vehicle and the world's first production vehicle to feature LiDAR technology. This is going to feature the XPilot 3.5 semi-autonomous driving system, as well as a host of other interesting features. But today, we're going to be giving you a first look at the exterior and interior styling of the new P5. Unfortunately, we have to stay a full meter away from the car for tonight's debut, but we can see, uh, get a good look at least, of what the exterior design looks like. We can start here at the front, where you see the latest evolution of Xpeng's uh, front end design, uh, specifically the headlight units here, which have a very distinct X shape. You can also see the uh, main headlight unit buried deep in there as well. I think it's a very unique look and a very nice evolution uh, of the single light bar that you find on the front of the P7. Of course, you might have also noticed down on the bottom corner, the LiDAR, which is the square kind of mirror looking thing down there. This car features X-Pilot 3.5, which is the latest hardware from uh, Xpeng for their autonomous driving system. Now, NGP is the, um, the software component of their system, and we've got to experience that using X-Pilot 3.0 on the P7 in our review of it earlier this year. Of course, with the LiDAR, they are promising even better performance. So we're looking forward to giving that a try sometime later this year when this car really hits the market. The X-Pilot 3.5 semi-autonomous driving architecture features 32 perception sensors, including 12 ultrasonic sensors, 5 millimeter wave radars, 13 high resolution cameras, and one high precision positioning unit. But the big difference between X-Pilot 3.5 and its predecessor, X-Pilot 3.0, is those double prism LiDAR units capable of distinguishing pedestrians, cyclists, scooters, static obstacles, and roadwork in complex scenarios such as night and low light conditions, backlighting, and environmental like tunnels. By adding these LiDAR sensors, Xpeng's navigation-guided pilot can now operate not just on highways, but also on city roads, encompassing some 90% of daily driving. The P5 is actually slightly bigger than I was expecting it to be. The uh, car's length is about 4.8 meters versus the 4.88 meters of the Xpeng P7. The wheelbase is also remarkably similar to that of the Xpeng T7, and the space, as described in the presentation tonight, is also perhaps even a little bit more. The rear trunk, for example, is 450 liters versus the 440 liters of the P7. So it's not quite as small as we thought it would be. Here you can see on the side the styling. You can see the many cameras. There are, I believe, something like 13 cameras uh, on the car. Um, and then you can see the blacked out area down below, which is clearly designed to make the car feel a little bit smaller. I think it's actually a very successful look. And I also enjoy the look of these wheels. Overall, a uh, very good effort from Xiaopeng for their third car. Here we can get a look at the rear design on the all new Xpeng P5, which features a very similar dramatic strip, uh, LED strip of a tail light as the one you found on the P7. It also has a very, very similar uh, rear light design here as well, which was one of my favorite details on the P7. I also think that the blacked out area on the back, much similar to the side on the side here, is a slightly more successful effort versus the P7 to give the car a lower, more sporty look, because it is a rather tall rear end, but with the blacked out area, I think it ends up looking pretty good. Inside, a 15.6-inch center screen responds to a wide variety of voice commands and features Xpeng's Xsmart operating system. That means a large number of in-house and third-party applications and software packages. But the highlight, at least in our opinion, was when Xpeng started showing off its movie theater and sleep modes. Put simply, the front seats of the P5 can lay completely flat with a simple voice command, creating a large area for passengers to recline and watch a movie or simply take a nice long nap. Other notable features include a built-in fridge between the rear seats, a large panoramic glass roof, and air freshness and fragrance controls.
thank you so much for joining us here at the global debut of the Xpeng P5. You will notice that we didn't mention some very important information, things like price and power and battery and range. That's because Xpeng has not released that information yet. They will be doing that early next week at the Shanghai International Auto Show. Uh, I think you can expect, however, based on the presentation, I would guess range somewhere around 600 kilometers, but other info we, we simply don't have yet. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell. It really does help us to keep bringing you interesting content from the world's most exciting car market.